back. This is video number two on the macro part of working in Excel and creating simple macros. We're going to create two macros. The macros are going to do the following. One is going to fragment the data. As you can see, that's what it's doing there. The other one is going to defragment the data. Okay. Now, in the last video, you were left with something kind of like this. But for this video, what I want you to do is I want you to select all the cells where we had our numbers randomly appearing and just delete, just clear the data from the cells. Okay, there is a reason for this, okay, so don't panic. Make sure that your conditional formatting is still working, okay? As long as your conditional formatting is still working, that's good. We're not going to change that just yet. We need that. So let's go and we're going to start by creating our first macro. Now, what is a macro? A macro is simply a record of instructions or keystrokes telling the computer what to do. That's all that it is. And a macro is probably one of the easiest things that you could do. First thing is make sure you have your developer tab. If you do not have your developer tab, if you're in Office 365, you can right click somewhere in the ribbon, say customize the ribbon or go file options. If you go file options, customize ribbon, same place. Go down, make sure you have your developer tab. So for some of you, it's probably off. Make sure that it's on. Okay. So in the developer tab, we've got our code group here and it says record macro in other words record the keystrokes everything that you want to happen record this so we hit record macro and here is our box that pops up first thing is we need a macro name so this one we're going to call fragment I want to call it fragment and I'm not going to give it a shortcut key because we're going to use a button. I'm going to store this macro in this workbook alone. I'm not going to store it in any other location. That's for another video. And here is the description. And I'm just going to write there, this will fragment the data. This is just for you or other people that might be looking at your code. It tells them what it's going to do. So we have our name, where it is stored, and the description of this macro. So we click OK. The macro is now recording. So whatever we do now, Excel is going to record that to the macro called fragment. So we're going to fragment our data. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select all of my cells, my little clusters on my disk. Go to my formula bar and I'm going to type in RAND between 0 and 4. Don't forget Control enter is the shortcuts. Control enter Boom, done. But you see, I've still got all of this selected. I'm still recording. So I'm just going to go just over here to, you know, T1 and just click just over there so that it's out the way and all my cells are now fully visible. That's the first macro. So we're done with that one. Let's stop recording. Done. We stopped recording with that one. Now the easy part and the fun part, assigning this macro to a button. Now, you can pretty much assign a macro to anything, okay? An object, a, a picture, a anything so but we're going to use a standard button just so you also are used to what the form controls do so in my form controls you can see here I'm in my controls group still in the de uh, developer tab I'm going to go to insert there's my button over there click on my button and I'm going to just drag make it nice and big so you can see it there we go and the moment I release the mouse button it says right what do you want this button to do and I want this button to fragment the data there's my description that I wrote earlier. There it is there. Ignore those. Those are from other ones. This is the one we did now. Click OK. Fantastic. And you'll see now if I click on that button, it runs through all those commands. In other words, in the blink of an eye, it selects all of them, does the rand between function, and it just re recreates this fragmented pattern every single time. But we don't want to call it button one. So just control click. Okay. Or you can right click on the the button over there let's give it a name and we'll call this one fragment and uh, we could even yeah I want to make it bold and everything now okay so there's your first button done fantastic let's do the next one the next one this is going to be uh, a little bit different okay we're going to cheat just a little bit because we're going to, we can't count how many colors we have. I mean, we could if we really wanted to, but I just want to teach you the basics. So we're going to record another macro, and this macro is going to put everything in a nice, orderly, structured form, like defragmentation actually does on a disk.
so watch what we're going to do we're going to click record macro let's give it a name and we'll call this oh huts we'll call this one did i say huts on disk oh my goodness on okay sorry about that defragment uh we're not going to give it a shortcut key just yet that's another video we're going to store in this workbook and we're going to do defrags the data okay cool click ok right it is now recording so the first thing is uh, I'm going to just clear everything so just select everything press delete clear everything and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill that one with number one control enter okay let's do that one with number two let's do this I know this is very basic It's very basic but anyway number three number uh, oh was it three did I forget one? Oh, four. there we go and don't forget the last ones as well those are four that's the free space okay that's number four done click over there just to get it out the way and stop recording right time to add our defragment button so insert button let's go ahead and draw our button down here and we're going to do the defragment defrags the data that's the one we want click OK all right let's just rename this button as well defragment okay sorry it's lowercase I'm not concentrating defragment oh it was defragmented fragment there we go it's working beautifully look at that look at all this data is being fragmented everywhere defragment puts it all together fragment defragment right the I just noticed when I defrag okay it was actually making that free space uh, video instead of free space because I put a four instead of a zero now this uh, was unexpected I did that by accident but I thought I would use this as a learning opportunity to show you something I can actually fix that very easily because this code is so simple we can fix it directly in the code I'm gonna go to visual basic the visual basic window alt f11 or just click visual basic module 2 that's the module that I created when it, the, it was created when I started this macro uh, there's my fragment one that's fine nothing to worry about there here's my defragment code okay defrag macro defrags the data if you look here you can actually see there's one two three four and I typed four again instead of zero so I'm just gonna type in zero control s just to save that and I'll close this now close the whole window now watch what happens when I run this macro again now it's doing what it should be doing those ones are now zero instead of four fragment defragment and they're your first two macros done done and dusted and you've taught RAND between you've taught conditional formatting based on a number numerical values in a cell and you've addressed the principle of fragmentation and defragmentation on a hard drive and you've learned about macros Thank you.